subscribe our channel. <laughs> Bye. I love doing this quick and easy face, especially in the summertime. So I do have these, which are like almond shaped French tips. I ain't gotta be popular because my check cashes. <laughs> my check cashes on Fridays. So I don't have to be popular. <laughs> Hey, we are back with another vlog. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Cece. For those of you who don't know, we talk about productivity, our corporate careers, and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel. So if that is something you're interested in, I'd love for you to stick around, join the family, subscribe, and drop a heart down below in the comment section if you made it here, okay? Love to chat with you guys in the comments. So what is that? Uh, it is, what day is it? I was about to say January baby it is monday july 22nd and it's a work day i just came back from a good orange theory workout oh y'all these braids look so bad this is week seven they're coming out this week i am there it's in my planner that they are coming out probably starting thursday and i'll just work on taking them out thursday and friday because your girl's done i'm done with the braids okay I hadn't had braids in so long and seven weeks with the same hairstyle is just killing me so I'm I'm pretty pumped to take these out but anyway <laughs> um, we're headed out just real quick to go grab some coffee my first meeting isn't until 12 30 it's 10 30 now so we're gonna run grab some coffee from Big B coffee and I've been trying to make my first of all I'm trying to make my coffee at home second of all um, I only have nine dollars left in my Starbucks account and I just, I'll save that for when I'm in a pinch and I need something like close and quick. Uh, and I don't wanna re-up on the Starbucks account. I just don't. I'm trying to make my coffee more at home. So having money in that account just like makes me go there more, more than I need to be. So it's not what I wanna be doing with my money and my time. So I'm gonna start making coffee at home, which I've been doing like that, oh, that Nespresso gold, Nespresso, not Nespresso. Ne Nescafe, Nescafe, Nescafe Gold. I'm gonna put it up here. That coffee that I showed you guys, I think it was in the last vlog. Chef's kiss, so good. I've been making that a whole, whole lot. And um, I still gotta figure out something to do with my Keurig too. Y'all know I got a Keurig and an espresso sitting next to each other. I got some espresso for my birthday in February. I use my Keurig every single day almost until February. And then February came, I got the Nespresso and I have not, literally not touched the Keurig since. It's just been sitting there collecting dust. So, um, yeah, I need to figure out something to do with that because it's just collecting dust and I have a ton of Keurig pods and I just don't need them anymore. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, we're going to Big B Coffee. I have heard great things about Big B Coffee and they just landed in Cleveland. We got a couple locations um, close to me and so I'm going to go to one of them and see just what they have. I got a recommendation from somebody. It was something called like a teddy bear. I haven't even looked at the menu, y'all. I have not looked. We're going blind. We're just raw dog and Big B Coffee today and I just want to see what they have. So um, I'm going to go take a little take a little a little peruse through the drive through and we are going to do a live taste test of their coffee if you guys have any big b coffee recommendations if they got them in your area drop it down below okay let us all know what's your order from big b coffee i would love to know what your coffee order is i'm like still sweating do you guys get that like you go work out or something or you do something sweaty you get in the shower and then you put on your clothes and you're like still sweating afterwards. That's how I feel right now. That's why I was like, I'm not putting on any makeup. I was going to, and then I was like, I'm still kind of sweaty. I don't, I don't want to feel, I just don't feel like doing any makeup today. I just don't. So we're bare faced, fresh faced, and we're headed to go get coffee. 
because it is going to be it's actually going to be a pretty good week um it's a pretty fun week actually it's a four-day work week so i am done working on thursday i took friday and monday off next friday this friday and next monday off um, because Mark's birthday is on Saturday. So uh, Saturday, we're going to do some fun things. I think that's going to be the next vlog, not this vlog. But we're going to do some fun things on Saturday. And I need to go... I need to go get the rest of his gifts at the mall. I don't know. Like, we've been together for... This is my 15th birthday spending with him. And when you go through that many birthdays and holidays, sometimes it's just so hard to figure out what the other person wants or needs. Or Like, if we want something, we go buy it. There's nothing I can buy him that he hasn't probably thought about and bought himself. So I try to be creative with my gifts. So, so far, I got him a nice Apple Watch band because I know he mentioned, hey, I, you know, I like to wear my Apple Watch, especially when he's not done with his step counts or closing his rings. So like, I'd love to wear my Apple Watch when we go out after I get out of the gym but it just doesn't look that good obviously with the regular band so I got him a nice leather Apple Watch band he loves his Nike Nike and Ralph Lauren hoodies so I got him a Nike hoodie in a color that he does not have I got him one of those and I might go to the mall see if they have a Ralph Lauren hoodie and I'll get him a Ralph Lauren, Lauren hoodie just to get him you know ready for the fall and then um, I got him some cologne that's on its way to our house but, like, I just never, like, is that enough? Is that not enough? Is that too much? I don't know. Sometimes we go all out on birthdays, and then sometimes we're like, this is a really dialed back year, baby. Like, we're not doing it. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if, like, the one hoodie, I got hoodie, cologne, watch band. I, I think I might get him one or two more things. And then I'm going to bake him a cake from scratch. Um, his 7-Up pound cake I'm gonna bake him that cake uh, on Friday and so we're gonna take it his mom has this every year they have this like water party and so we go over there and we like play water games and drink and stuff and it's usually pretty fun and the kids have fun and all of that so um, we're doing that on Saturday and I'm gonna take I'm gonna make two seven up pound cakes and I'm gonna take one of them to his mom's house so everyone can enjoy it and I'll leave the other one at home to make sure that he has enough to eat throughout the week. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on this week. Work has still been crazy per usual. However, we hired someone, yay, yay. So uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This person starts mid-August. So there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. It's still gonna be a minute, obviously, because the person has to get ramped up and all that. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. That is the important part. I can see it. So my my work um, work life balance is coming back. It'll be back. I'm excited about that and all of that, y'all. Like I, I feel I feel so good this week. Softball is over for my girls today. Should well, depending on who they play, it might be the last game today, or they might have one more game this week. But all tournaments are over on the weekends and everything. So. I mean, we're I, honestly, it's almost back to school time, to be honest, because like next this weekend is Mark's birthday. Next weekend, we're going camping, which will be fun. And then the weekend after we have nothing to do the weekend after. But I have to prepare because I have to go to San Francisco mid-August for work. And then when I get back from San Francisco, the kids will be starting back to school like the whole summer gone that it went so fast. But, you know, we're going to make the best of every moment that we have left and continue to make the best of every moment even when the kids get back to school. I'm honestly really excited to get back to the structure of school and the kids having their bedtimes and all of that because I've been, your girl been fighting for her life with these kids not having their bedtimes. They normal 9.30 bedtime, girl been fighting for her life, okay? Been fighting for her life. So, oh, Heights Soul Food and Grill, what is that? Heights. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so look, my neighborhood is very light skinned, not black. Okay, <laughs> my neighborhood is very not black. So when we looking for like carry out food, like ain't nowhere we can go get like good barbecue or fried fish. Like we gotta drive back to the hood. Okay, we gotta drive back to the old neighborhood. So anytime I see a soul food restaurant come over here, I'm like yes sign me up I'm there 
because we just don't have that here and nothing close to my house so that's really exciting okay and we had one like almost right across the street from where this one is but it closed um a little bit ago so i'm hoping maybe this one sticks around but i'm gonna have to go home and uh and look at the menu because <laughs> we're gonna have to try that Ooh. okay we're here we're here cookies and oh that looks so fattening sweet cream cold brew somebody said something about a teddy bear oh they got food too okay oh, oh there it goes the teddy bear white chocolate and caramel latte that's probably so fat now. That's cool. We're going to get it anyway. Hi, what can I get served for you? Yes, can I, um, can I try that uh, chorizo cheddar bagel? And then I'll also try a 16 ounce um, teddy bear latte. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This looks like a whole heap of calories here. Oh, that's good though. Oh, oh, it says we love the people behind our coffee. We love our coffee. We love the people behind our coffee even more. That's cute. Um, okay. We'll try that in a second. Let's try the sandwich first. This is the limited time. What was it called? Bragel. Chorizo Bragel. So, has some cream cheese, sausage, cheese. Is that an egg? I thought it said something about a hash brown. That's what it looks like. Take a bite. I ain't mad at it for real. I think those are like crispy potatoes on top of the bagel. I think those might be like crispy potatoes. So you got your whole meal in here. The only thing that's missing is a, an egg for real. The only thing I would have liked to see on this is an egg or an egg white. But it's a nice little sausage. Got a little kick to it. A little spicy sausage. cream cheese American I give it to them that's pretty good I gotta eat so good the rest of the day that's like half my daily calories in both of these items okay this is what we came here for It has almost like a toasted, like a toasted taste. Yeah, like it almost tastes like, like a toasted almond, but I don't think almond was the thing. It almost has like a toasted taste. That's so good. Oh my God. I went to Big B Coffee for the first time this morning. Why y'all ain't tell me how good it was? What? Why y'all ain't tell me how good it was though? Did they got an app? I'm going to have to look and see if they got a nap. My camera overheated because it was on the dashboard. But can I just say that I've never had anything at Starbucks that tastes that good? Can I, can I just say that? I have never had anything at Starbucks that tastes that good. That is so good. I'm in love. No, because what? I'm in love. It's not too sweet. It's so good. Just like that, we're addicted. All right, we gotta get home and go to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Million Bradley giving you a call from DoorDash Employee Relations. How are you? So, who who are we talking about before we keep going?
y'all we back <clears throat> it is 4 55 p.m so much later and i just ate lunch y'all like just ate lunch a few minutes ago i've been sitting here working just been a meeting after meeting after meeting back to back clearing things up but it wasn't that busy today so i was able to get a lot of work done which was chef's kiss because i was so behind so i just feel so much better i feel like this week is going to be so good especially since it's only a four-day week um Outback is going to be super good and I'm super amped up for the week and the weekend. So like I said, it's 4.55, but I started a little later today. So I'm going to go until it's time to get my daughter to her softball game, which will be around 6.45. I just have some things I want to like focus on and clear up. And since it's like after hours, it should be quieter and no one should be bothering me. And I should be able to focus those on those things and clear them up. I have some things I want to clear up before I get out of here <clears throat> this weekend. But yeah, it's it's been it's been a good day. It's it's been a really, really good day. I also got a really nice shout out from um from one of the leaders in the business. So that was really nice as well. Sometimes you just feel like Especially in HR, you just feel like you do thankless work. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is truly thankless work. <clears throat> HR is a part of the business that does not generate income. And so sometimes you feel like, you know, we're the first to go. Like if, if cuts need to happen, we're definitely the first to go. And so if you're not an income generating function of the business, it just it feels like it's a thankless part because you're not you're not helping anybody make money. People don't see like ER is super. <clears throat> they don't see the value of ER until something blows up. Right. Or they don't see the value or. They don't see the work that we do or lack thereof, I should say, unless something blows up. When everything's going smoothly, that's your ER people working for you. That's what it is, okay? When things are not going smoothly on the people front, that means there's still some work that needs to be done. So <clears throat> I feel like that's why ER is so thankless because on the surface, it looks like we're not doing anything. Things are running smoothly. We're not doing anything. Not knowing that behind the scenes, there are so many moving parts and pieces to make sure and keep things running smoothly. And just the constant like terminations and having to be the one to deliver bad news can definitely take its toll. On some people, like ER is not for the weak. It's not for the faint of hearts. All right. So people always ask me what my experience is in employee relations. And that is my experience. Like it is not for the faint of heart. I have actually grown to love it. So I was an HR business partner before this. And now I'm a senior employee relations business partner. And being in HR, it's just much more sunny, much more happy, much more we get to to drive the growth strategy of the business and we get to look at the talent and we get to you know it's 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 definitely much more sunny and happy i get to put these programs in place that help help develop your talent and develop your team and in er it's like i'm terming your team <laughs> you know um so there's definitely there's definitely a difference there however I have grown to really enjoy the work. I didn't think I would love it that much. I was like, this is something that I'll probably stay in for a year or so and then try to move into HR. But I've actually grown really fond of employee relations and what it takes to really make sure that employees needs and the business needs are all gelling and meshing into one and 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 that's what it is people hate employee relations like i feel like we are definitely super um not popular but it is what it is it is what it is okay i ain't gotta be popular because my check cashes <laughs> my check cashes on fridays so i don't have to be popular but yeah i'm just finishing up some work i have some um I have this investigation report to finish writing and I just have to set myself up for the day tomorrow. Uh, Y'all, why am I still thinking about that coffee from Big B? Why am I still thinking about that coffee? 
I'm telling y'all, it had like this like toasted vanilla feel. And first of all, I feel like y'all be gatekeeping sometimes because I guarantee you, when we talk about Big B Coffee, somebody in the comments, y'all gonna be in the comments say, oh girl, I go there all the time. And I'm be like, y'all gatekeeping for real. Y'all didn't know if I had a Big B Coffee close to me or not. I didn't until the last couple of months, but y'all didn't know that. And I feel like I be telling y'all everything and sometimes I feel like y'all be gatekeeping. Because I'll tell y'all something, y'all be like, girl, we been through that. And I'll be like, well, girl, like, spread the wealth, share the wealth. Like, I had no idea. And that shit was so good. It was so good. The sandwich was good, too. The sandwich was actually really good. But the coffee, the coffee. Do they got an app? We're going to spend this whole day talking about coffee. They got an app, baby. I knew they had an app. Everybody has an app. They got an app, baby. I'm telling you, they're going to take over. They're going to take over from Starbucks because what? What? Tell me, somebody got to tell me what their rewards are like. Like, are their rewards comparable to Starbucks? Are they better, worse? I know one of y'all know. I'm about to sign up. All right, well, let me, I'm going to finish this report. I'm going to sign up for this app. I'm going to finish this report and then tonight we're going to head to my daughter's maybe last softball game. It all depends on if they win or lose. Um, so we're going to be headed to what might be her last softball game of the season. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to chill out for the rest of the night. So I need to do some voiceovers for some reels and I got a lot of content stuff I need to be doing. But we'll work on that throughout the week. Y'all, I feel like these people, I don't know how these coaches do it because this coach, he didn't put a million times where this game is in this app, what time this game is, which field we're on, all of that in this app like three times. And then he messages us and says, we're going to be at the third base. We're going to be on the third base dugout tonight. And somebody messages back, what field number? Bitch, you didn't say this three times. These people be like, I, like people just don't read. And it is so annoying. Like, just read the damn thing. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't know how these coaches do it because I just wouldn't answer. You'll get your answer if you just go back and read. You'll get your answer because these people will drive me insane. I cannot. All right. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Um, not me. Went to a workout this morning. I know. Get my shoes on. Went to a workout this morning. Getting dressed. And headed to go back to Big B Coffee. Y'all, that coffee didn't change my life for real. It was so good. And I got a few recommendations from um instagram yesterday and so yeah i'm super excited so mark's gonna ride with me and we're gonna go get coffee this lighting there we go just putting on some of the saltaire this is the santal bloom body spray i'll link it down below it is my fave 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 it smells so good okay it's not my fave i have others that i like more but that one still smells really good but we're about to head out to grab some coffee. Where's my phone? I need my phone. I need my phone because I downloaded the app yesterday. And we're going to get some points for today. All right, let's go. Our garage is such a mess. Such a mess. I 
gonna take five minutes. To go over there, what you said, like I said, for you to be. I didn't say anything. Me. For you to be rushing me. So, yeah. Now we're finally about to go get coffee. I need to go get these stickers too because I've been riding around with expired tags for like almost a month now. Over a month actually. These tags expired like June 10th. It's June, July 23rd. So. He vlogging for our vlog channel, y'all. He hardly ever does that. Oh my God. I did do it consistently last year for a minute. This is this year. Uh, what that got to do with? He says ever. Ever means never. Yeah, I said he hardly ever. Hardly ever. He's so. vlogging for our vlog channel. How much do you vlog for our vlog channel? I be vlogging. How much do you vlog for our vlog channel? Don't let him try to play me, y'all. I, I just asked you. How much do you vlog for Bradley Party of Six? Yeah. I'm vlogging for two other channels. I thought you were going to be the main vlogger, so I'm letting you take over. Like I said. Even though I'm still not gone. But, you know. Alright, we had to get this coffee. Why well, look? Is that clear? I think it is. Alright, we had to get this coffee. So, I went with the same thing. I went with the teddy bear. I wanted Mark to get something. I wanted him to get the caramel marble. So you and can then try. I could try it. <laughs> but he was acting real funny, like he didn't want to get nothing. I don't so, want to. I don't drink coffee. Whatever. You do drink coffee. I do not. Yes, you do. I, I do not drink coffee. He was acting coffee. real funny, like he didn't want to try nothing. So I just ended up getting the teddy bear again. But we're going to try the caramel marble again, maybe later this week. I'm going to have to stay away from this place because this is good. Tastes like coffee. Hmm? Tastes like coffee. It don't, though. I've tried it yesterday. Try it again. I don't want to. Try it again. I don't want to. Just try it again. Why are you so aggressive all the time about trying? <laughs> Do it. So yummy. You are real funny acting. Because <laughs> he know it's good. It's not. That is not good. I've tried some of them drinks from Starbucks that was actually pretty good. And I'm like, oh, that tastes like a lot of... That does not taste good. That tastes like coffee on ice. You? Okay. It does. <laughs> It does. That does not taste good. Not it's the same drink from yesterday, so how it don't taste I good? I didn't think it tasted good yesterday. I said it tastes like coffee. We don't want him. <laughs> we don't want him in this vlog no more. Because he being disrespectful. Okay. It's so yummy. Alright, we gotta get to the DMV because we've been riding dirty on our tags. Um our tags expired like June and we forgot about them until a few days ago, honestly. And so we're headed to the DMV to get it's the BMV. Is it the, the BMV? The DMV? Whatever. <laughs> TV called the DMV. I don't know why they call it the DMV. I think it's Department of Motor Vehicles yeah. for other people. The, ours is the BMV, though. It's the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We're headed to get our tags for our car, our other car, because like I said, we've been riding dirty for like for the both last. Cars, actually. Is it for both? Yes, yeah, both. We've been riding dirty on this car too. Yes, this car. This is the car I discovered that we were dirty on. Oh. Then I was like, both cars are dirty. Oh, well, we've been riding dirty for the last month and a half with our tags expired. Our expired tags. So, um, we gotta. Yeah, we need to. Oh, that's that Sherwin Range. I mean, I hear other people go there the gun range um okay yeah so we have to go get tags and then i gotta get home and work guys so i got these new sunglasses in from amazon i wanted to show y'all these are by the brand sojo's i think i got a pair of running sunglasses by this brand but this is the brand right here and these are the sunglasses how cute are these? Oh my God. These are so cute and I have nothing like this. I want to try to get some sunglasses. They don't have to be like super different, but just a little different than what I have. Like I feel like I have the same style of sunglasses. And so I wanted to get something a bit different. And this is definitely, yes, this is definitely different but just so so cute i feel like these would elevate a look like yes baby let's talk about it we love to see a cute pair of sunglasses so those are like 15 dollars. i got those from amazon i'll link them down below but i am chef's kiss and they have a nice tight fit on the head like sometimes i find my sunglasses will move because they're just not tight enough these have a nice tight fit on the head 
and I love them. One of my favorite pair of sunglasses I got from Key, they stretched out and so they don't stay on my face and I have to keep adjusting them and that just drives me insane. So I haven't been wearing them lately and those were my favorite ones and so I, like, I feel like I'm just done. I'm not going to buy any more expensive sunglasses because that just drives me insane. So um, these are really, really cute. Yes really really cute these will definitely elevate a look and if these stretch out i won't mind because they were 15 dollars. Uh -huh. but yeah there we go so cute i'm definitely taking these to san francisco we actually just got our hotel reservations um for work and i'm like okay <laughs> company's fancy all right um they are fancy we are staying at the W um, in San Francisco, so really excited about that. And I'm just excited to get on a plane again and get out of here. It's been a minute, so your girl's excited to get out of here. So, and just hang out. Even though it's a pretty long trip, it's like a whole Monday through Friday trip, but um, it'll be a nice break for me. The kids will be staying with my mom and so they'll have fun and it'll just be a really nice break for me so all right y'all let me get back to work if i gotta do your job i don't need you so you have you have too much on your plate to to be trying to do her job and your job so um I think that's where like documentation comes into play and you being like, okay, look, I'm here. Like it's fine to leave with empathy and be like, I'm here to support you. You know, I, I will help you with what, whatever you need, but you, I mean, she still has to do her core set of responsibilities. I would usually start with like gather information, whatever information I have about the situation from the witnesses um, and the reporters. So, and then also try to gather video footage first. Um, so I have different, so I have different things to ask. And then when you have that video footage and the witness statements, then you can kind of, so even if you ask, Hey, did you do this? And they say, no. Oh, really? Well, it was reported that you were back there for 30 minutes. What were you doing back there? Were there any other people back there with you? You know, um, this was found. Can you tell me if you saw it while you were back there? And just kind of like, I would just ask questions about whatever you, whatever you got from from the witnesses so I would always start with the witnesses and then whatever you got from them I would ask questions off of that so even if they say they didn't do it if we have enough from the witnesses where because we don't like we're not terming based off of a reasonable doubt like it's just we just have to a little bit more reasonable than the than the alternative like that's our our kind of gauge is what's up y'all um mark and i have like a kid-free week or not weekend yeah. a kid <laughs> kid-free night tonight um kind of unexpectedly we have a kid-free night the kids uh they wanted to go with my sister so we were like deuces uh, so what do we do with our kid-free night what are we doing the thing that I have is how are we supposed to eat? I'm just saying, you let us grocery shop. Bro. We have no food, so we need to grocery shop. So we just went to Trader Joe's. We're about to go to Meyer um, and grab the rest of our groceries. So I need to. All right, I forgot my camera, so I'm like vlogging on my phone. So I gotta put this down so I can go check the app. But I do want to see what type of bottles of wine they have because I think I want to get like a nice bottle of wine for the night. Oh, I didn't even, we went to another workout also. I went to work out again. So Mark was going to Orange Theory. The kids weren't coming home. So I was like, I'll tag along. Went to another workout, ran another 2.3 miles, I think. I ran another? You ran miles today? Well, I sprinted. Oh. Yeah, I did sprints today in the gym. So I ran 2.3 miles. So I got a double workout in today and I'm about to eat it all back for whatever we have for dinner. Baby, you don't know. Baby, you don't know. 
Olipops that never on sale when I need them. I'm not paying two sixty five for them now. Look at that! Both of us forgot our cameras trying to vlog. You big money. Spiced apple, we're gonna get one of those. The witch's brew. I think that's all we'll get for tonight. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's a uh, Wednesday, July something or another. July 24th. Wednesday, July 24th. It is a work day, of course. So we're about to get ready to do some work. I'm also going to film some videos today. So I'm just starting my makeup and I figured I would do kind of my everyday face for you guys. I haven't done that in a while and kind of talk through it. So I want to show you guys some of my favorite makeup products that I've been using a lot lately and most of them are affordable. So, um, of course, the first one is not affordable, but that's because I'm trying to use up this primer. I'm almost done with it. It's the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And this has been one of my favorite, favorite primers lately. It is almost gone. I have probably one more use and then we're going to be gone. So I'm um, just finishing using that up, getting my edges together. Y'all, a couple more days with these braids and they're gone. Um, but for foundation, we're going to use foundation and we're going to use the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation and also the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. And the only reason I'm using both is because this color is a little too light for me right now. So this is tan warm in the e.l.f. and then the Essence, I have it in mahogany. This is too dark for me. This is too light for me. And so put them together, they make a good shade. This has been kind of my summer mixing shade for all of my foundation that are too light for me so I'm gonna wear those this combination has been so beautiful this foundation is so so beautiful if you have not tried it yet if you have not picked it up yet it's eight dollars girl go get it okay, I'll just do a nice little mix and what I've been doing is just getting the foundation on an even layer on my hand and then going in and pressing it into the skin. All right, this is a super light layer that I put on, but it just looks so beautiful, evens out my skin, right? I'm gonna do more of, I'm gonna put on a light layer on this side, and then I'm gonna do one more layer and make it just a little heavier, just because, like I said, I wanna film today. So I like to get a little more glam when I film, which is just like a little more foundation than I would put on on a daily basis. I just like to get a bit more glam and have my foundation just a bit more full coverage, if that makes sense. I just think it transfers a little better on camera when I am filming a sit down video. So I have to refilm a video, girl. Like, oh, that is one of the worst things about content creation. Like, especially when you are busy and you have like a full-time job like I do. So I have only certain amount of times that I can film. Like not only do I have a full-time job, but obviously I have a husband, I have children, all of that. And I have a certain window that I can film in. And so when you have to refilm something because either the video just turned out looking like trash, the sound was trash, whatever, it really like sets back my schedule. And this was a video for a brand. So... It just kind of sucks because my schedule is super tight lately and I had this video all filmed. I go to edit it 
and realized that the sound, my microphone was off for some reason. And I was so annoyed, so freaking annoyed. Um, because again, I have a small window for filming and I gotta, I gotta get shit done when I can get it done. And so now I have to rush and refilm this video and edit it so it can be up in time for the brand and because I don't want to be late and like ruin relationships that I have with brands so it just kind of sucks you know again when you had shit scheduled and then your whole whole schedule goes to shit but whatever all right so this is what we look like and I'm using this Real Techniques. This is the Expert Face Brush. Y'all know I've been a foundation brush girly, so I'm using that Real Techniques brush and my skin looks super nice. Super nice. I love the added layer there. Looks really good. And neither of these foundations are like super mattifying, so it gives my skin a nice little glow. Now, I gotta be careful with that. Y'all know I got oily skin, so I gotta be careful with that a little bit, but my skin gets a nice little, nice little glow from these foundations, which I love. So for an affordable concealer option, I will always and forever recommend this one, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have mine in the shade... I don't know which shade is this rn00 is that what it says rn00 is the shade i don't know there's no actual shade name on here i've had this for a while though but this is one of my favorite concealers it's nice and full coverage and i'm not trying to like well i am trying to go a little extra glam but this concealer is really nice and full coverage and like $10, maybe less, I don't know. I haven't priced it in a while, but this is definitely one of my favorites. We're gonna let that just dry down, let it do what it does, so we can get a nice coverage on the face. And I'm just gonna sit here and let it do that. One tip I have, and something that I never used to do, is making sure to let this concealer dry down. I used to just blend out the concealer, girl. Just, just blend it out and be like, it's cool, we could just blend it out. No, ma'am, let that stuff dry down so you can get a good, good coverage for the concealer. You want it to actually do its job and cover. So let it cover. I'm also gonna take this blush Encourage by Rare Beauty. This is one of their liquid blushes. And I'm gonna been loving kind of the blush mixed in with the concealer type look I don't know it's been my favorite and I like using a more pink blush um, for that so let's start blending usually I don't post usually I don't post but I want the world to know I'm gonna pull a drop top all right, so to set the concealer, I'm going to use this hourglass powder. I know this isn't affordable, but this has been, this powder is amazing, y'all. If you have not gotten your hands on it, I'd recommend you grabbing it. It's the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder, and I have not been in love with the powder like this in quite a while. So... I've been, you know, pressing the excess powder on my hand and then going in and getting it the under eye. I'm so impressed with this powder. Like your under eye just looks like the word airbrush is the perfect word for what's going on here. Honestly, the word airbrush is just the perfect word for it, for what it does. My under eyes just look so beautiful when I use this powder. So pretty, right? All right, and then for my full face, I've been using the Ruby Kisses Matte Powder Foundation. This stuff, again, super affordable. Super affordable. Very gorgeous on the skin. 
all right and that's that i'm gonna go in with my bronzer blush and highlighter and then um my quick and easy lip combo and i think we're done didn't want to share my love till i found someone i'm sure of young and untamed i've been out of range keeping it low but i want to be bold with it don't care we told about it wow baby got a hold on it love on for tonight they'll be calling us go But I never let him catch me No, I never let him play me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's get this lick Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Okay, this is my... I don't want to say everyday face. Well, it kind of is just maybe a little lighter of foundation. But this is what we're going to film with today. I love doing this quick and easy face, especially in the summertime. Y'all, I be so done with makeup in the summertime. Like, I want to look nice and put together, but I just don't want to deal with it a lot of times. Um, so, when I do do makeup, I try to make it light. I should have tight lined. I haven't done that in quite a while, but it's cool. We're here now. So I'm finishing off this look with this Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. And this is the final look. I haven't done lashes in a while either. I think I'm going to do my lashes this weekend too um, when I do my nails because I got to do my nails today. But yeah, so I'm going to set up this stuff to get filming and then. I gotta go work. after seven i just finished working and so i decided to work a little later today just because hey but just because i did some extracurricular shit during the day so i'll usually extend my work day if i do that just to get done the things that i need to get done so um i did film my video a little earlier that i was talking about but i have to refilm it because i just didn't like I just didn't like how I looked in the frame so I'm gonna redo my lips and I'm kind of touching up my makeup and I'm going to refilm the video this will be now my third time refilming this video it's only like a 10 minute video so it shouldn't take long to do it's just 
I'm just annoyed this is my third time doing it. So that's what we're about to do. I like natural light so much better, but I mean, this is what we're working with. We're here. I'm about to change my lens. Hold on. I have several lenses that I use when I film, and I think we're about to go for the 24 millimeter lens today. So this is the little lens. I film, I've had this camera for such a long time. Hold on. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see. So this has been my filming setup for a while. I don't know. I'm probably going to change it, but I just kind of like this little plant in the background and this little thing in the background. It just looks really cute, but I'm probably going to change it soon. But either way, I was using earlier the 35 millimeter lens, which is cool, but I want more of the background in my shot. So I'm going to change this to the 24 millimeter lens and the camera I use is still the can't really see it the t8i the canon rebel t8i i don't know if i'll be upgrading to another camera like this camera works just fine for me i love it and so unless it breaks i probably won't be upgrading to another camera like anytime soon so that's what i use to film like most of my sit down content if you guys want to see a video where i go over all of my stuff that i use for content creation let me know i can put that together but this is what I use for my sit down content. And then this, of course, is just a ring light. Whoops. A ring light that I've had for years. So I will use that. But a lot of times I've been filming a lot during the day. And so I'll just sit like this is my desk. So I'll just put my chair here and I will use the natural light coming in from the window. And I'll just film that. Oh, also wanted to show y'all because I have on the... Um, this is the little vest from the Janae Naylor collection at Target. This is one of the pieces. I got it on looking crazy. Child, that's why you gotta look in the mirror first. I'm looking ridiculous. I got the collar all pushed in. But this is one of the pieces from the Target Janae Naylor collection, the vest. And I think this is just so cute. And I'm wearing the same shorts I had on earlier. And yes super cute so you're not gonna be able to see my shorts just my my top so that's what i'm wearing for the video first time watching hello my name is Cece for those of you who don't know we talk about productivity our corporate careers and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel so if it's your first time seeing my face and you have not yet subscribed go ahead click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you will always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload so we're about to talk about these Raycon earbuds and if you guys have been watching my videos my last few videos you guys have seen these babies featured because I've been using them like every single time. All right, y'all, I just finished filming the video once again. Now I just want to make sure the sound quality is good because I am going to scream if it's not. Y'all, this video is due tomorrow, so I definitely have some editing to do tonight, but I just need to make sure the sound quality is good. Let's go to Final Cut Pro. Just to keep up also my YouTube, uh, like what I use for YouTube to edit. I use Final Cut Pro to edit all of my YouTube videos and a lot of my shorts and reels and um, 
yeah, all of my YouTube videos, a lot of my shorts and reels, I use Final Cut Pro. Um, and then on my phone, I'll use CapCut. If I, if I filmed it on my phone, normally I'll edit it on my phone and I'll use CapCut, which is just an app. So that's how I edit all of my stuff. I don't use any other editing apps. Um, what is this called? Oh, no, I already have a library saved. Let's close that one because we don't need it. Yeah, girl, I listened to that sound on that video. I was, I was sick, like sick, sick, sick. These gorgeous earbuds right here. Flat top and all of that, and it all connects seamlessly. But this is how we look with them in the ear. I just think this is super sleek. There's nothing hanging down. And all right, that task is done. Y'all, I was about to run to the store and finish grabbing the rest of Mark's birthday gifts, but I just didn't feel like going nowhere. So I might just have to go grab those tomorrow. I was like, like about to head out the door and I just was like, I really don't feel like going nowhere. I mean, I could still go. Kohl's has all the good Nike hoodies and Kohl's don't close till 10. But I also wanted, I got them a Nike hoodie on the way. So I also wanted to get them a Ralph Lauren hoodie. And Kohl's don't have Ralph Lauren. So maybe I won't. I didn't want to stop at Sephora by Kohl's though. Or at Kohl's. I did want to stop at Sephora. But I probably won't. I ain't gonna go tonight. I'm about to find me something to eat though. I was like two seconds from getting a coffee. But I was like, girl, you're gonna be up all night if you get that coffee. Don't even do yourself like that. Don't even do yourself dirty like that. So I'm just going, I don't know. I could make a decaf just for the taste. Could make a decaf and then, I don't know. Also got to find something for dinner. We ended up going to Olive Garden, I showed you guys. We ended up going to Olive Garden earlier. Um, and they sat us right across from the booth where we had our first date. And our first date was August 8th, 2000. 2008 almost 16 years ago was our first date and here we are 16 years later four kids all this chaos this life that we built it's just insane like one it doesn't feel like it was 16 years ago like hell no um it doesn't feel like it was 16 years ago but it's just insane like to be like I've known you for 16 years what that shit is crazy um, but yeah, they set us like right across from the booth and I was like, oh my God, Jesus. It just feels, I mean, that was a lifetime ago. That was a lifetime ago, 16 years ago. But anyway, I need to edit this video tonight, but I also want to do my nails. And I think that's what we're about to do next. I think I'm going to find something to eat first and then we're going to do our nails and then I need to do some skincare tonight too. I got too much to do for it to be 7.45 already. I got way too much to do. It's ridiculous. But I I gotta get shit done. I gotta get shit done. That's how it goes here, y'all. Okay, so let's pick out our nails. Let's see what kind of nails we gonna do. That was real weird. I don't know what I was doing. All right, let's pick out our nails. All right, so let's look for these nails. I think... We're gonna go with some BT Art Box nails. So I do have these, which are like almond shaped French tips. Um, but I also have, let's see what else I got. We got lots of nails, girl. All right, so this drawer, we have tons of Glamnetic nails. And I do mean tons. Like I have a whole drawer full of Glamnetic press-ons, which I really love. Um, I have a ton of them. These are dope cutie pies are so cute i have these which kind of look like glazed don't oh we might go with these kind of look like glazed donuts i think these might be the ones we're going with because i was thinking about oh those are adorbs also those are super adorable um let's see what else we got because i have a ton of random brands hold on all right, so here's my top drawer. I have three drawers for the nails. I have a ton of random brands as well. So I have like a bunch of the Kiss. Like those are really cute. These are cute, but those are super long. I'm not wearing those. Um, those are super short. 
What else? Oh, these green ones are cute. And I feel like if I don't wear these, I won't be wearing them for like the winter. Those are really cute. And those are medium. Those aren't long. Um, what else I got? Nude French. These look long though. Um, oh, these are, I can wear these in the winter though. But those are really cute too. I have so many nails, it's ridiculous. All right, and then I have a third drawer, and most of these, okay, most of these are BT Artbox nails. So I have those, and these are, oh, so these are almond, and then these are like, or are these, what are these? Oh, these are cute, but those are hella long. I don't know why I bought them. When am I wearing them? Like never, that's crazy, them long as hell. Um, oh, these aren't all BTR box because I have those. Then I have these like pink ones are really cute. I've worn those before. I must have worn these because I don't even know what these are because they're turned the other way. Oh, the white ones were really cute and you can like polish those. So I have all types of nails in here, y'all, that I need to like where the static nails I have a ton of static nails they always have them on sale at um where I be going TJ Maxx they always have them on sale see they always got a little sale sticker I don't ever pay full price for these what else oh these are cute the BT art box oh look at those nudes those are really cute too oh I might go with them I was gonna go with these glamnetics but Oh no. I do have to go to San Francisco in a few weeks. Maybe I'll wear these in San Francisco and I'll or maybe I'll go with these. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with my first mind and go with no. Alright, I'm gonna go with these for real. I'm gonna go with these. I like these. And then I'll, I'm gonna do these next when I go on my trip. Alright, we're gonna do these tonight. So we're gonna use those and we're gonna do like the full bt art box system oh i also have these as well these i just took off the other day i just took these off those are really cute they're like design french tips so i'll put those in my drawer but i want to use we're going to use the whole system i have like a million of these little uv nail lamps i have like four of them i don't know why i have so many but we're going to use the whole system the whole like jelly system so they have their solid gel glue this works so good y'all so good the solid gel glue i'm gonna buy some more of this and then the builder gel and then the top coat so essentially i've shown you guys me doing my nails a million times um i guess i can show you again today because I, I don't ever do the full the full thing but essentially what i do is i use the nail dehydrator and i dehydrate first well first i file my nails using my nail drill get them all rough but get them smooth but rough um then i dehydrate my nails then i go in with the gel glue and i cure it for a little bit with the small the small curer and I do each nail separately. And then you go in with the builder gel. This is the top coat. But then you go in with the builder gel. And then you put that on and you put it on for the whole hand and cure the hand. And then you go in with the top coat and you cure the top coat. So that's how that goes. Um, and my nails last. I mean, last time they lasted three weeks and I was the one that took them off. They didn't come off. So I feel like if I wouldn't have taken them off, they would have lasted for like four weeks, possibly five. But they was just starting to look a little raggedy. I ain't like that. So um, that's that. And then you can always like soak them off and reuse the nails also. But I never reuse them. I have so many nails. I never reuse them. I just throw them away. Um, but yeah, that's my little process. I can set it up. I'll let y'all see. I'll let y'all see the nails. I'll set it up for y'all. It just be taking some time to set it up, but I'll set it up. And then before we get started, I just want to show y'all something else that came in the mail. So, Milk Makeup. 
milk be hooking your girl up and i appreciate it milk thank you they sent over another and i was like getting low on this they sent over another milk hydro grip set and refresh spray this is so nice and since the fall is coming i feel like i'll be using this even more i've been using more of my mattifying setting sprays lately but i feel like this will like this was my go-to last winter so i feel like that'll be the same this winter and then they sent over also the cooling water this is the jelly tint in the shade cooling water and you can use this on your lips and your cheeks look at this color oh my god look at that color oh it's so soft and look how smooth the top is that is so weird oh my god I see it and then it kind of tints the skin there oh we're gonna use that on the cheeks real soon maybe the lips too I normally don't like duo products but I might have to try it they sent over also the shade chill in the same product oh my god it like really looks like jelly and is like behaving like jelly let me put this right next to it yeah, that's more of like a red. And then this one's more of like a deeper purple. No scent to it. Huh. And it kind of like dries down a little tacky. I wonder if it gets like matte or if it just stays like that. Dries a little tacky. But there they are. Those are cute. All right. And then... I also got another package. Hold on, y'all. I got another package by Lion Pose. They sent over their unspotted four time acid jelly night serum. It's formally tested by dermatologists in a third party facility, safe for sensitive skin, tested especially on skin of color and no synthetic fragrances silicones dyes or bleaching agents but what is it supposed to do um it says pairs 15 percent acids with antioxidants like girl don't make me lie to lift away dead skin cells and visibly brighten and improve the evenness of skin tones oh this is really cute packaging though i would of course try it first but this is if it works i might use it on her this is gorgeous packaging i'll make sure i link all these products below you guys but i am in love like this is super luxe that is a super luxe packaging um and it has of course women of color on the marketing so it is supposed to really you know apparently this is supposed to really be for women of color and it looks like the founder and the co-founders like they're definitely a diverse group right there so okay thank you so much they also sent over this really cute skincare towel so thank you to lion pose for sending that over i appreciate it thank you to milk makeup for sending that stuff over your girl definitely appreciates the love all right we are going to grab some food and then we're going to do our nails all right, so I have one um, decaf Nespresso pod. So we're going to use that. And we're going to make a little decaf latte. Um, yeah, a little decaf cinnamon latte. You know what I've been loving lately? Oh, no, I ain't no light over there. We got to turn on some light. All right, you know what I've been loving lately? You still can't see me because what? what is going on? My favorite creamer lately has been this one right here, the cinnamon coffee cake. Cinnamon yeah cinnamon coffee cake this has been my favorite creamer lately and it is so good um and it is gone so i need to go get some more but that's been my absolute favorite lately but i'm gonna have the altacio decaffeinado so it's a decaf 1.35 ounces so it's just an espresso shot and we're just gonna make a little latte
who do you think looks better, me or Morgan? The clown face, different skin color, Morgan. Morgan. Right, if, right in, in the more. comments. And, and just for, picture that me. it's not a skin color. I picture that the, the skin color is not different. I do think me. Land. Land. Lame. Well, anyways, write us in the comments. Bye. Her ma her um, eyeshadow is all messed up. That's so not true. true. It is true. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Get out of here. Remember to subscribe our channel. What they supposed to do? Subscribe our channel. <laughs> Bye. All right. So I did four out of five of my nails. For some reason, the nail shape on that, on this like on this color right here for some reason the nail shape was a little different and it wasn't made the same as the others and i just couldn't get it on and then i got tired of trying so i went ahead and did the i drilled like off all the glue and i'm just gonna put it on again tomorrow because i just didn't feel like trying anymore they so loud y'all and make it so bad we're home with them for the next four days well yeah, four days because my parents, y'all know my mama usually watch my kids. Well, my parents are going to the Cincinnati Jazz Fest this weekend. And so um, the kids going to be home tomorrow, which is Thursday, Friday, and then of course Saturday and Sunday. So just pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. But um, both hands, I did both hands. I'll, I'll give you a full picture. I need to do some more drilling, but I'll give you a full picture tomorrow with the whole hand, but I'm gonna just redo this nail tomorrow, but I did the other four. And those are on there, those feel good. Let me see. They look good too, these are really, really cute actually. But I'll finish up the hand tomorrow, clean up the edges, the cuticles and all that. And I'll show you guys a full hand. I'll show you guys a picture of a full hand when I'm done. But yeah, that's it for the night. So I'm gonna go upstairs, do a little skincare, and then Thank you.